Welcome to my humble abode. You're off to the tailspin on this. That's Tales Over Coffee. Where we start the day with a narrative game and a cup of coffee together in the hope of welcoming a blessed day. Let's return now to some of the least blessed of days. As we start chapter 4 of Telltales, A Walking Dead. The Walking. It always takes a few minutes to get in, so let's recap that uh, Katya has taken her own life uh, because Duck was dying and basically going to become a walker. She was meant to take his. Kenny, his father, also failed to take Uh We left the location. We found Please. a trailer. On the walking dead. Here we go. I've heard enough out of you, okay, Doug? She's done. Now, what the fuck's the problem? Hey! No! You're not coming with us. I don't know much about <coughs> the dogs, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's going to be. Ah, friendly stranger. Y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't going to make it. What do we do? Oh, Clementine, see who's gone. Let's go. Go. Nervous yeah, around zombies, so it's our best bet at safety. Okay, but we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. We've also found she's got a look for them. I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. We gotta jump! What? No way! Ah! Shit! She's got a radio that she was talking to someone on. I got your parents right here, and you'd be sure to find me whether they want you to. We roll into Savannah. It's worth noting that although it says it adapts, the adaptations are minor. The story will roll forward as it is because if you imagine it, the amount of work that would have to go into rewriting, uh, writing so many different paths to make every choice truly meaningful, would be prohibited in terms of time and expense. But it's still, it's good to have some say. I just hold it. Just for a little while. We're getting real close to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I can. Not now. I need you to focus. Keep your attention on the street. Okay. Sorry. How's Olive? His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. Okay, how much farther to the riverfront? There should be just a few more blocks up ahead. And there'll be boats there? As sure as hell better be. There'll be boats. Have to be. Have to be. It's going to be okay. Kenny knows what he's doing. Hey, yeah. What the hell? That doesn't sound Maybe good. This city's not so dead after all. Noise draws walkers. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Someone's up there! Are you sure? 
I don't see anything. Well, you did. I know what I saw. I'm telling you there's someone up in that bell tower. Someone alive. If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. I thought you said that thing didn't work. Who the hell is this? Hello? Hello? I said answer me. I agree with him getting out though, because uh, I want to stand around where walkers are going to appear. What was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? It tolls for thee. You little shit. God damn it. No. Get her the hell out of here. I'll pay it up with you. Thank you, old timer. Timer, you are, or maybe were, one of the best. I'll get the door. That ruddy Ben, who was handing over our okay. stuff, and then uh, abandoned yeah. Clementine. You can stay out there with us. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We've got to get him inside. Clean him up. Kitty, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Just get us inside. I don't care how you do it. Maybe you should come up with some ideas then. Yeah, because it's all me, always me having to fix everything, isn't it? Not thirsty enough to drink that yet. Looks like something was buried here. Just a doghouse. How's he looking? I'm all right. You're not all right. You've reopened your wound, you're losing blood, and God only knows what might have gotten in there. It could be infected, it could be... <coughs> no offense, but you really need to work on your bedside manner. <laughs> She's just worried about you, man. Don't worry. We're gonna get you fixed up in no time. Just as soon as we're inside, okay? That's the idea. Okay. Thanks, man. Please go and help Kenny. We need to get him inside now. We know. Just sit tight. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. Do you think the dead people saw us come back here? Are they going to find us? Try not to worry. Even if they 
saw us, they can't get in here. We did. Why can't they? We're a lot smarter than they are. They're just like dumb animals. They can't open doors. We used to have a pet hamster. One night, we figured out how to open the door to his cage. And when we woke up, he'd eaten half a box of cookies. I don't think this is quite the same, Clem. Yeah, right. This time, we're the cookies. Oh. Just stay away from the gate. I'm gonna see about getting us inside the house. what happened back there on the street i know i don't know what happened i just froze up hasn't that ever happened to you just hear what i'm saying to you you put that girl in danger again it won't be walkers you have to worry about i hear you think we can get in through one of these windows man i don't think so whoever owned this place had them all barred up yeah looks pretty solid how do you think kenny's holding up I don't know. It's it's like all he can think about is finding a boat. He definitely doesn't want to talk about Katja and Doug. Oh, well, that's not surprising. Not Maybe we should just let him deal with it in his own way. I'm going to go check things out. All right. Damn. No way I'm going to be able to bust through that. All right. How's it coming? Find a way in yet? Door's locked up tight. Too heavy to force it without making a whole lot of noise. Maybe there's a better way in. Well, if there is, I ain't seeing it. You think maybe someone's still inside? Nah, we'd have heard from him by now, all the racket we're making. <laughs> but whoever was here did a pretty good job fortifying it. Nice place to hole up. We could just figure out how to get in. Hey, how you holding up, man? Lee, I appreciate the interest. But I don't think talking about my feelings right now is going to help us get inside this house. Maybe you should have a look around. See what you can find. What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's, it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Well, shit. Every day's a school day. All right, so where's the dog? Well, the dog house is over there. Oh, dog was probably buried. Empty. Yeah, that would have been too easy. And it's highlighting that uh, shovel now. The shovel is never not useful. Looks like something was buried here. Yeah, right next to the doggy door. Uh, doggy uh, kennel. Hey. Be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah it's also not an option we have. Avoiding it, I mean. Well, what's buried down there? Nothing. Clem, go over and sit with Krista and Obi, okay? But I want to... Just do what I say, okay? God, the smell. Yeah. After Cade Corpse, what do you expect? Must have belonged to someone. <clears throat> Can't get it off. Okay, that is not cool. Jesus. Are you okay? 
I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you I said I'm fine, okay? Well, at least it seems the dog didn't turn into a zombie on it. Girl's nothing. Yes! God damn! How do we even have electricity at this point? You see anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. Uh, <clears throat> so high. It's no good. I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can. There you go, Super Clem. Clem, what do you see in there? Good job, Clem. Yeah, way to go. I did good, right? <laughs> yes, you did. You did good. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. Looks okay from here. Everybody in. Just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. So, when were you going to tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I was going to tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that and then try to warn us about it? If you're looking to scare us. How much sense does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't play games with you. I don't know who it was. All I know is they're no friend of ours. Damn right. I'm telling you, they don't want us getting to the river. Maybe they want those boats all to themselves. But we'll see about that. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omi needs to rest. I think we could all use a little time to rest up and gather our thoughts, Kitty. At least until those walkers outside wander off and Old Meat's feeling better. He best feel better quick. I ain't gonna wait around here too long. Place seems secure at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> Alright, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. Can I help? What if there's another locked door? I think you've been helpful enough for one day, kiddo. Why don't you just see if Kristen or me need anything, okay? Okay. He's a champion. I should finish checking the house before heading back outside. Oh, okay. Not surprising. Nothing. Water's off. Not surprising as well. I'm not that hungry. Besides, I 
need to finish checking the downstairs. I'm not I tried to do the microwave. Come on. I need to finish checking the downstairs. Dog Walter. Not anymore. All cleaned out. Must have stopped working a while ago. How's it coming? Whoever cleared this place out left behind two bottles of whiskey. Looks like someone didn't have their priorities. <laughs> Whoever cleared this place oh, out left on. behind two bottles of whiskey. Looks like someone didn't have their priorities straight. Probably not the best idea right now. I need to stay frosty. Looks expensive and heavy. Doubt any looters would be able to haul that thing too far. <laughs> Anyone else there? All clear in here. Just one more to check. Now that's the kitchen we've been there. Let's put them back out here. We've been in there, we've looked at these. Here we go. <coughs> Jesus! What? What happened? It's nothing. Just uh, nothing. Well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while, at least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while uh -huh. you were poking around? Nah, uh, just dog food. And there's some whiskey in the back. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell her. Who is he? What does he want? Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Yeah, I think he's playing you. Honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee? Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Oh. 
Kenny, what have you done? Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. Did you go check on him? Or did you abandon him Stay like you here. did uh, Clementine? Jesus, what the hell is that? Oh my God. Oh. Child zombie that looks like he's starved to death. Care of it. You to do this, man. I'll take care of it. Are you sure? I guess we'll find out. Here, this will make it clean and quick. What are you doing? I thought you said you were going to take. I care thought of I was him. taking the gun Sorry, from man. him. I don't know that I can. No, I don't know that I can either. It's okay. I'll take care of it. I thought I was taking the gun from him for some reason. I thought he had a gun that was me taking it from him. That poor kid must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. Oh, this could have been Clementine if I hadn't found her when I did. should bury him. I'll take care of it. Sad. It is sad. And while I still hold it, I think Kenny's best chance of forgiving himself. I don't think he's anything to forgive, but it's a natural response. Kenny's best chance of forgiving, forgiving himself a duck would have been to do the deed himself and heal from that. Knowing it's all decisive action. This isn't done. He doesn't need to do. <clears throat> One boy on his dog. I should have put the picture in there with them. I don't know, I just symbolic. Let them be a piece together. <laughs>
Oh, he's alive. You stay the hell away from us, man. Wait, what's going on? I saw someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No, too fast. Took off like a bat on a hill when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. What does it matter? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. Uh. The guy on the radio. Kenny? I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. But you shouldn't do. Walkers are one thing, but the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. All right, that's it. We've stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. Let's look at supplies. To make sure it's secure. We didn't really toss the place. We're low on food, water, meds, ammo. We should make sure there's nothing here we can use before we move out. Well, you search it if you want to. I'm done with this house. We came to this city to find a boat, and that's just what I'm going to do. Maybe it's not such a bad idea to check the place. I more. said I'm done with this house. Kenny, uh, losing it a little bit. We can do both. Ben, you take one last look around the place. Grab anything that looks useful, while me and Kenny go down to the river to get us a boat. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. We need to focus on finding a boat right now, Clem. Like we talked about on the train, remember? Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? Do a job and search instead of whining, boy. That's not how it is, Ben. I need you to stay here and keep an eye on Clementine. I can do that. Well, just so we're clear. While I'm gone. Anything or anyone tries to get inside this house, you shoot them. Don't even think twice about it. Understand? I got no problem shooting walkers. Did you hear what I said? Anything or anyone? Good. Oh, you shouldn't have trusted him. I'd rather Krista was doing it, honestly. Isn't she staying here? Let him look after Omid. All right, and that's where we will pick up next time. Have a blessed day. Enjoy your coffee. See you next time.